what would be the value of big infrastructure projects like high speed rail at this time? I think if, if they're for infrastructure, if it really is leverageable and creates a multiplier effect, like I think high speed rail would be great because it allow people to get between Dallas and Houston and, and other cities much more quickly. And you've seen it work um, in Asia and work out very well in terms of um, um, improving productivity and reducing time traveling. Um, if we're able to have a vaccine and people feel confident to go on there. You know, in terms of bigger picture infrastructure, I think we really need to start looking towards the future. You know, as much as people like to say, we just have to bring everything inside the country, we still have to compete globally to be able to sell things to other countries. And one of the places we haven't performed well in is manufacturing. You know, we've seen a lot of manufacturing go overseas. If, if they put me in charge of infrastructure 2.0, what I would do is invest a lot of money into robotics. Because in my perspective, if there's a billion dollars just picking, a billion um, products just picking a number out of the air made overseas, if we can invest in robotics and create manufacturing plants using robots that brings back half of those or 500 million of them, the ecosystem built around those robotic manufacturing environments will create far more jobs than traditional old school manufacturing would have and would allow us to, to, to sell and create. And you know, we talk about competing with China, we talk about competing with other countries. That's not gonna take looking inward and burying our head in the cell. If we wanna kick China's ass, we have to invest in technology because that's exactly what they're doing. And if they beat us in AI, and if they beat us in robotics, and if they beat us in precision medicine, whether it's China, Japan, Germany, Russia, whoever, we're not gonna be the leading economy in the world any longer. So from my perspective, we just like we invested to go to the moon and we've invested in so many other futurized, future looking technologies, we have to do more of that today. We've really gotten away from it and we've got to change that immediately. Otherwise, you know, America Inc. is not going to be able to compete as well as we need to with Japan and Germany Inc. and Russia Inc. and China Inc. So yes, I like high speed rail. I like aqueducts for transporting water, um, but I like investing in AI and robotics and precision medicine even more. Thank you.